So I'm going to read this speech. And I want you to listen to the word very closely. Because he wrote this back in 20, what? How old is this speech? Eight, nine. And it's still relevant to this day. It's called, not this one, a rally of all parents. To my dear parents of this world, I'm here to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to rally the truth. As parents, we are in a different kind of war that requires us to get off the back line and serve on the front line. No longer can we do a little and expect to receive a lot in this day and age. Being a parent has never been this hard. Each year brings about new challenges for our youth that sometimes suck them in and then spit them out down the wrong path, making it hard for them to get back to the path they were once on. No longer can we allow this to happen to our precious children without attempting to do something about it in a proactive way. The school teachers, the faculty, and the staff, they're trying, but they can't do it all by themselves. The government is trying, but they can't do it by themselves. Pastors can pray all day, but they can't do it in their actions and faith alone. And youth organizations are working around the clock, but they can't do it themselves either. Parents, it's going to take us doing our part by standing up daily and dealing with the forces that come to destroy the minds of our kids without wavering. I am tired of hearing in the media through meetings and conversations what parents are not doing because I'm a parent. But when we begin to understand the power of the four P's and disorder, parents, pastors, principals, politicians, we will understand that all of them should be working in the best interest of our kids. And for the most part, I think they are. It's only when we don't leave and do our part that our youth fall through the cracks. Well, parents, enough is enough. So let's strap up mentally and do our part. Through hard work, prayer, fasting, confidence, sacrifice, dedication, and endurance. There is no such thing as the back line or the second line anymore. There is only one line, and that's up front. Meaning sometimes when you're up front, you're going to get knocked down. But you cannot give up immediately. you got to realize that if you stay down too long, you may fall asleep. And while you are snoring, meaning you're making a lot of noise and no action behind it. And counting sheep, our youth are being heavily tempted by musical lyrics and ready X conversation and visual images that this world offers them. While we count sheep, our youth are getting pregnant and making babies. While we count sheep, our youth are being disrupting school functions and receiving failing grades, causing great teachers just to throw in the towel and new teachers to develop bad habits just to gain control of the kids in the class. While we count sheep, our youth are being molested by family members and friends of the family. While we count sheep, our youth are walking up and down the streets unsupervised and picking up habits that causes their childhood to suffer. While we count sheep, our youth are wearing their pants below their butts and being judged by society or just to be another statistic. While we count sheep, our youth are dodging bullets, fighting, and selling drugs on the street. While we count sheep, our youth are being bowed down in jail, prison, juvenile programs, being completely stripped of their liberty. So it's time. It's time for some to get up, others to wake up, and for the rest to keep going strong. Because see, the enemy needs us out the way in order to get our kids. But I don't think so. We say to the enemy, this is my child. And although I may have had, you had a past of destroying the minds of our youth and tossing obstacles in the way of parents that causes us to struggle sometimes, sometimes lose interest in the future of our kids and fall asleep, we stand. We stand now on the front line as supportive and concerned, wide awake parents with our child and our children behind us to tell you not this one. We say to the negative forces of the streets, not this one. We say to the negative forces of drugs and drug dealers, not this one. Yeah. We say 
to the negative forces through slick talking boys and perverted men who come to misuse and abuse our daughters? Not this one. <laughs> we said to the negative forces through older women who come seeking youthful pleasure from our sons? Not this one. We say to the negative forces of the media that come to replace the values that we place inside of our kids with lies, violence, sex, greed, and hatred? Not this one. We say to the negative forces of poverty, mm. <laughs> not this one. Right. We say to the negative forces of bullying or even being bullied, <laughs> not this one. And we say to the negative forces of racial teaching and injustice, not this one. Will we still follow this journey at times? Of course. Because sometimes things are just out of our control. And we're only human. And we all know our youth have a mind of their own. But it's only, it's only when we refuse to get up and make the best of that situation that it becomes our fault. So now, I'm calling all single mothers, all single fathers, all absent fathers, all wives, all husbands, all grandparents, all guardians, all godparents, and all stepparents to stand in the gap and say with firmness, boldness, and confidence, not this one. If we have several kids, we must stand with them individually because each kid has their own individual negative forces pulling at them. So it won't be easy. But nobody ever said it was. We're gonna go hard so that one day our kids can stand on their own when we're not around and they can say to the enemy, wow. not this one. Right. So get ready, get ready, get ready, world, because the truth have been rallied. We are taking our kids back. Right. So if you are with me and you believe that you wouldn't refuse to settle and let anything come against your son or your daughter, let, hear, let me hear you declare, not this one on three. One, two, three. Not this one. Right. Not this one. Not this one. Thank you. Right.